Hey guys, Trina Belsic here. Today I'm going to be talking about the keto diet macronutrients. So what are macronutrients? Why are they important and do I need to track them? Keep listening to find out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified of all new keto topics. Macronutrients, or macros for short, um, consist of the three basic components of any diet. You have fats that are a macro, proteins are a macro, and carbs are a macro. So when you're looking at a keto diet, you're looking at a combination of the percentages of how much of those nutritional values are your intake. So your fats are between 70 and 75%. Proteins are at 20 to 25%, and your carbs are at 5%. So why is it important? It's important to monitor and track your macros when following a keto diet so that you can optimize your body's ability to burn fat for fuel. That's the key. We want to get rid of, you know, we want our bodies to be optimal fat burning machines. So when you combine macros properly on a keto diet, your body enters into ketosis and becomes that fat burning machine I just mentioned. So let's actually look at your macros and talk about why they're important. So first we'll talk about the main macro on a keto diet and that's fat. So we want to make sure that our fat macros are between 70, 75%. So at the end of the day, when you're looking at what you've eaten, you make sure that your fat intake should have been between 70, 75% of your overall food consumption. So you know that uh, that motto, you are what you eat. Well, we're gonna throw that out the window. We're gonna follow a new motto. We're gonna say, eat fat to lose fat. Sounds great to me. Hopefully that sounds great to you too. <laughs> so <clears throat> fat gives you that feeling of uh, that full feeling. So you feel full for a longer period of time when you're eating fat. And when you're eating fat, it's, it's crucial that you're actually consuming the proper, healthier forms of fat because you don't want to eat any of the processed foods. Um, you know, the keto diet's not giving you that free pass that you can eat all the processed foods that you want. You want to make sure that you're making healthy choices and you're having some good healthy fats. So what exactly is a healthy fat? Healthy fats are fats that come from butter, oils, fat from avocados, um, uh, heavy creamers, and some nuts. So consuming these types of fats will help put your body into ketosis, as I mentioned. And when your body's in, into ketosis, it becomes that fat burning machine that we were meant to be, and it removes any of that unwanted fat. So, you know, ketosis is key here, and that's why you want to keep your fat between 70 and 75%. So then next, we'll talk about protein. So proteins are also important in that they help preserve our, our, our muscle mass. And they aid in, um, like if you start to diet and, um, so if you're starting to diet and exercise, your muscles sometimes they break down and we need that protein consumption to help preserve and to repair that, that muscle breakdown. So you don't want any of the lean muscle mass that we already have um, to be broken down or lost. Our goal is to preserve and or build up muscle. So consuming the right amount of protein in, is right in preserving um, is preserving our, meat mu our lean muscle mass and preventing the breakdown in loss of muscle. So in a keto diet, you wanna keep your proteins between 20 and 25% of your daily intake. So again, remember our goal is to be, keep our body in ketosis and to burn fat, not muscle. At the same time, if you consume too much protein, your body has excess of it and then it stores it as fat. So it's just another reason why it's important to combine your macros properly. And that's why I said it's the 70 to 75, uh, 20 to 25, and then 5% carbs. And then the 5% carbs brings us to the last macro, which are our carbs. So carbs are the most restricted, restricted nutrient on a keto diet and have the biggest effect on ketosis. As carbs are processed, they're converted into almost um, gram for gram into glucose, which is then used for fuel over fat knocking the body out of ketosis and you're no longer that fat burning machine. So the rule of thumb is to keep your net carbs at 20 grams or below. So that's about 5% of your uh, nutritional intake. So net carbs are the total number of carbs minus any fibers or sugar alcohols. So that's kind of like a breakdown of all of our macros. I want you to trust in the keto process. It, it's a known and reliable program and lifestyle diet. The sooner you get on board and trust that you're, what you're learning about in, in the keto lifestyle, the easier things will get and the sooner you'll start to reach your, reach, reach, the sooner you'll reach ketosis and then see the results that you're looking for.